www.superxpower.com. Hi, I'm Rob with superxpower.com, and I'm here to help you find the parts you need. In order to do that, we're going to need your model numbers, and once you have those model numbers, you'll be able to gain access to free illustrated parts lists and order online at superxpower.com. Now in this video, I'm going to show you where you can find those model numbers that you need, and if you still need help ordering your parts, you can call us toll free at 888-294-5156, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Central Time. Now let's go find your model number. Here we have Briggs and Stratton engines. What we're going to do here is show you where to find your model number, your type number, and your code number on these motors. I'm going to start with this Briggs and Stratton Intec V-Twin motor. Now a great place to find the model type and code number is on a valve cover. For those of you that don't know where the valve cover is, this is your valve cover. And typically on these motors you're going to find it on the number one cylinder. And a quick way to find the number one cylinder is if you look at this, if you look at these two valve covers, one on each side, you'll find that as you're looking at it towards the flywheel side of the motor, that one is actually closer to the flywheel, and that would be your number one cylinder. So that is where you want to start to look, looking for the model type and code. So on this engine, right here, stamped into the metal, is the Brick and Stratton model number, type number, and code number. Next we're going to move on to a Brick and Stratton snow engine. Now this is a horizontal single cylinder engine. Now this looks a lot like most Briggs and Stratton horizontal engines, so we're going to use this as an example. And I'm going to show you a few different places where you can look for the model number on these. I'm going to rotate the motor around for you. Now on this particular engine, Briggs and Stratton stamped the model type and code number into this metal flange. Now one thing that you want to keep note is Briggs and Stratton will almost always, and I would say 95% of the time, have the model type and code number stamped into metal. So you'll actually physically find it stamped in the metal. So on this motor you're going to find the model type and code here. Now if this was an overhead valve engine where the valve cover was on the outside, similar to how it was on this Intec, I would look just like I did on the Intec, look for the valve cover, look for that model type and code number stamped into that side of that cover. I'm going to move on to a Briggs and Stratton single cylinder vertical engine. Now you'll find this motor mounted on a lot of different walk mowers, uh, pressure washers, little things like that. Now this is a new series of Briggs and Stratton engine and this is something I'm going to show you that's a little bit different now. They're still stamping it into the metal on this engine and they put the model type and code right here into that metal. But instead of a code, they're, they move to a data manufacturer date. So instead of a model type and code, it's going to be a model number type and a data manufacturer. Now we're still going to need that, so get all that information. I'm going to move here onto a vertical single cylinder. This is a little bit older style Briggs and Stratton engine. And this also would be used on push mowers and things like that. If you have a motor that looks similar to this, the first place you're going to want to go to find your model type and code number is right above the muffler. If you look at the muffler, right above it, right here, is a metal tab that sticks out and typically you'll find the model type and code number stamped right there. So that's a great place to look. The next place to look, if you don't have that tab and it's not stamped in there, is go to the front of the engine, right above the spark plug, peek underneath the plastic. And sometimes on that metal right there, you'll find it. You may need to get yourself a flashlight and a ray, get it cleaned up. But you may find that right there. So what I've just done, I've gone through, gave you some quick examples of where to find your model type and code number on the Brick and Stratton engines. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us. www.superxpower.com Thank you for choosing superxpower.com. In this video, I will show you how to look up a Briggs and Stratton model engine. So now let's get started on our site, superxpower.com. In the upper right corner here, we have parts lookup, find your parts, click here. So we will click. We are going to do a quick part search, search by model. The first thing we need to do is select our brand. We are looking for a Briggs and Stratton engine. Our sample model number today will be a 445577, a type of 0026G1. You need to separate that with dashes, so dash 
0026-G1. Capitalization does not matter. You will see that in this drop down menu below here that there were several engines that were listed here. Now we have our one. We can click that. Select search. This will take us to a display and search results for our model in Briggs and Stratton. Over here on the right side, there's a link that says Select Assembly. We will select our assembly. To start with, I'm going to take you into the cylinder head and gasket set diagram page. Once you're in here, center your diagram on your screen. There are zoom controls up here in the right corner, upper right corner. Zoom your picture in. And you'll see that you have cylinder 1 on this engine as well as a cylinder 2. You can click the, pit, the diagram and push it up and down with your mouse or left and right as need be to find your parts. Here's our cylinder 2. Here's our cylinder 1. On a two-cylinder engine, cylinder 1 is always closest to the flywheel. It's very common for that cylinder 1 to also be on the same side as the starter, but it will always be the cylinder that is closest to the flywheel. So the part we're going to look for today, though, on our engine, we are going to look for a float bowl for our carburetor. We were having issues with ours on our engine. So come back up here to the more diagrams of your equipment and then we will select the carburetor kit and carburetor overhaul diagram page. Once again recenter the image. Zoom your diagram page in. We've got our overhaul kit. And you'll see the many parts that are in there. As you highlight over a tag, it'll come up and it'll give you the name of it. That's our choke shaft to seal, the part number, the price, and how many of those are used on that engine. Over here in the, in the box next to our carburetor, we find our float bowl. Next to our float bowl, on this particular example, there is a sealing washer, there is a screw, and there is a gasket that is around this float bowl that is available separate but the bowl itself is not. The bowl comes as a kit that is found in this box marked 975 and we see when we look at here we have our part number, our price and how many the engine uses. The float bowl and this is used on the double barrel, double barrel carburetor that we have on the two cylinder engine. And it also makes mention that this carburetor is used after a code date. Let's look down here below at the parts list and find our 975. And then there's a 975A. They're indicating a use after code date 04080300. The code date on our sample engine is 081031YG. In 2004, that's what the 04 is for, 2004, Briggs and Stratton made a change to the float bowl that was being used on this carburetor. Our engine was built in 2008, so we are using the after. So we will select this, car, this float bowl and we will add that to our cart. We have items in our cart. We can either proceed to checkout or we can continue shopping. At this moment, we're going to continue shopping. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab another diagram page and we're going to look at our air cleaner. You should change your air filters frequently. Center the diagram. Zoom your picture in. You'll see on there that there's picturing two air filters for this unit. But if you look at the tag, that tag does not light up. This tag does. What that's indicating is that this particular air filter, even though it's pictured here, is not used on this engine. The tag that we need is the 445 for that air cleaner. This moment we're not going to grab an air cleaner. It's a good idea, but we'll skip it this time. And then we're going to go back and we're going to view our cart. And now we can proceed to check out. Very easy self-prompting steps to get yourself checked out and on your way. Now if you're still having a hard time finding your parts or you have additional questions about your parts, please feel free to contact us. You can call us at 888-294-5156 
where our parts specialists are waiting for you Monday through Friday, 8 through 5 Central Standard Time. Once you've received your correct part the first time, please stop back and visit us and look at some of our new items that we have either in our hunting, our fishing, and many other outdoor activities and aftermarket parts for your outdoor powered toys. If there are any additional questions with the site, there is our help center where we do have our site policies which does include the return policy and our terms and conditions. Please feel free to visit these if there's any issue with any of the parts or if you have a concern before you make your purchase. Thank you again for you choosing SuperXPower.com. We look forward to your business. Thank you.